It is a brisk 45 degrees this morning in Texas. Look at that beautiful sunrise. We have so much on the agenda, guys, that we've got to get caught back up. And uh, so stay tuned. Good morning, everyone. Jill here with North Texas Vegetable Gardening, canning recipes, a little bit of everything. Guys, it's that time of year where it's cold in the morning and you wear jackets and jeans in the morning and then you go to your short sleeve shirt and uh, your shorts in the afternoon. Um, like you saw, it was 45 degrees this morning. It's going to warm up this week um, and we're going to get back into the lower 80s. But right now, um, it's still a bit chilly. So we're going to talk about our water well and we're going to talk about things you need to consider if you're thinking about getting one. So we drilled the well on our back acre but close to our front acre because we're going to fence this off. And you can see all that gravel in there the deeper they went. And then look at what we had to add and I'm going to tell you why. So when we started calling around uh, to get someone to come out and drill this well, we called seven or eight places and uh, most of them were booked out, guys, six months plus. So we were really concerned about that because we wanted to go ahead and get this in so that when this other high tunnel is complete, um, we will have it to water both of our high tunnels and save us quite a bit of money. Our water bill is, uh, is uh, bumping over $200 now a month trying to keep... Uh, things going especially in the summer now that's going to drop in the winter time and uh, we fully expect that but we need to be prepared to irrigate properly in both of these high tunnels um, as we continue to grow this farm so we had to add a 2500 gallon water tank it's got its pluses and it's got its minuses so the reason why we had to order uh, had to get a 2500 gallon water tank is they dug 360 feet for this well. Now, the surrounding area here, um, about five or six years ago, they started building homes close to us, and uh, they were putting in wells there, and they were drilling about 300 feet, they said, because we stopped masked them, and we talked to them, and um, it was about ten to $12,000, and again, that was about five years ago. So this company came out and uh, started digging, and they went 360 feet, and uh, they had to stop. They said that we could go another 40 to 50 feet, but they didn't think it was going to change anything. They thought that we would still be at six gallons a minute. Now, that's, that's sufficient, and, and that's a pretty good uh, pump, but we were expecting over 10 gallons a minute when we initially visited with them and spoke with them. So uh, they had to dig down through three different rivers, and we hit the woodbine uh, the woodbine aquifer so the the bad thing is is we really wanted the 10 gallons a minute the good thing is is with this 25 gallon tank or 2500 gallon tank excuse me um see i'm already getting hot out here in the sun with 2500 gallon water tank um it is going to preserve our pump and uh, what that means is that if we had just gone ahead and piped the house and piped the greenhouses directly from uh, the water well, the pump would probably be running continuously. With the 2,500 gallon tank, it's not going to run continuously. It's only going to run to fill up the tank. And uh, so we may deplete more at times, and so the pump will run a little bit more to fill that tank. It does have floats in it, almost like a septic system, to alert the well to fill it up. And so uh, we will be able to pipe directly from this. We'll also run another tank up there in between the two high tunnels. Sorry. In between the two high tunnels um, so we will have um, a stash up there too or um, I guess an overflow so 2,500 gallon tank is pretty good um, we think that for our household it's going to be just fine but we really weren't expecting the added cost and this was an additional six thousand dollars so I will tell you that the water well has gone up three times what it was five years ago. And I will tell you that the wait time to get a water well dug out here in our area is um, six months plus. So we're, we're glad that we were able to get it done because, again, we are going to need it. It is eventually going to save us uh, some money on our water bill, but it was a very large expenditure. 
So as soon as Greg is finished with this other high tunnel and uh, we are trying to, we're going to try to get the end walls up by the end of this week. We've had our life circumstances that have just interrupted. But, uh, you know, I'm so thankful I got to spend time with my mom uh, before she went home to be with the Lord. But anyway, Greg is going to have to build a well house. And we think that we're going to fence off this entire area here because we want to protect our water source. And we want to make sure that not just anybody can drive back here. And there is a road that comes back here and a pull from our water source. So we do not regret being blessed with this water well. Becoming more self-sufficient seems to be extremely important right now uh, to a lot of folks, especially homesteaders and farmers in um, such trying times that we have. So we are very happy that we have it. We feel very blessed. And there's more things that we're going to um, start to try to do to become a little bit more self-sufficient. And we are planting like crazy. And I've still got my seed starts up there. I'm gonna have to start some more. Um, because as soon as this high tunnel is ready, we'll be filling that up as quickly as we can. And guess what? December rolls around in just, a, what, six weeks? And we'll be starting our tomato seeds that are going to be going in that uh, high, bigger high tunnel for the spring. So the year is kicking in gear. The holidays are coming up on, up on us. Um, spring seed starting is just right around the corner. So you want to start getting ready and make sure you have your seeds. Guys, um, I can't emphasize to you more. Um, how critical things are getting and all you have to do is just uh, watch the news or watch other videos um, about the world situation about the container backlog and um, all the changes all the mandates that are happening and it's just really really strange to us but anyway I wanted to give you an update on this water well I wanted to tell you what we had to do I wanted to tell you the gallons per minute that it's pumping and I uh, let you know that it is in we still got to do some electrical hookups so, and Greg's gonna do that as soon as he's done with that other high tunnel so still got lots of work to do um, I will be doing my calendula sad video um, it's about five days past due it came to uh, came to be ready around uh, the 12th of September or October I'm sorry and so we will be starting on that and I'll be doing a video on that so be sure and hit that subscribe button hit that like button thank you all very much for watching God bless you and we will be in touch